Kids ages six months to four years can now get vaccinated against COVID-19. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Jackie Kingston has the week off. That change comes after the CDC gave final approval for both the Pfizer and Moderna lower dose vaccines over the weekend. Tonight, KMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has details from the Emerald Public Health Department about their vaccine rollout plans. Facts Not Fear, topping our news tonight at 10. The Amarillo Public Health Department has already ordered 100 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine for young kids. Director Casey Stoughton says they expect the shipment early this week. Just as soon as it gets here, um, we'll, we'll be able to start administering vaccine. So if you're, if you're interested in that vaccine for your little one, um, please give us a call and we'll certainly put it on Amarillo Alerts as soon as we have the vaccine available. Stoughton says pediatricians, offices and pharmacies will have the lower dose vaccines available as well. There may be some different requirements as far as pharmacies go. We'll go ahead and call ahead, check to see if they are able to give, um, give the vaccine to, to that age group. She says now is a good time to get young kids vaccinated because the clinic is not busy and kids can have protection by the time school starts. It really does offer some really great peace of mind that not only can the kids go back to school um, with that protection, but also they can really enjoy school and, um, and not have to worry about um, quarantine and illness and, you know, just really be able to enjoy school and all the extracurricular activities that that offers. Stoughton says it's important for parents to know the vaccines are safe and have been studied like all other vaccines. This vaccine, um, while it has been delayed, it's been delayed so that they can, the, the FDA, the CDC, um, those that are responsible for making sure that this um, it comes to market, it comes to market safely. And so as, as a mom, I certainly appreciate that and I'm looking forward to, to our entire family being vaccinated. Stoughton says while COVID cases are increasing in our area, hospitalizations and deaths have remained low. She says that's because the vaccines are working well against the virus as Omicron continues to be the predominant strain. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Andy. Kaylee, thank you. Stoughton also encourages parents with questions or concerns about vaccines for young kids to talk to their pediatrician.